All right. Well, this is as good as it's going to get. It's going to have to be. Am I standing next to Sean or something? <laughs> Why? It feels like I'm standing next to Sean. With the music? Just the antics. Oh. And the music. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, we did play Fates of Death on the way up to Hayward. <laughs> did you know? Yeah. Just slap anyone in the face? No. That's his thing. Just Dave. No face slapping, I guess. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you How meant, was it? Was I thought you meant you just slapped him in the face. Hayward? No, Fates of Death. I, I Yeah, it's recorded really well. Yep. Yeah. I was quite impressed with the quality of the audio. Cool. And they've got a video out. Directed by Mark Borchard. Really now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah I kind of right. remember that. Of Cove and They were down on the uh, lake or the uh, river. That's yeah, a good yeah, spot yeah. for them. Trails. Yeah, yeah some awesome. sort of... Yeah. Well, I mean, the river twil- twil- twils. twils. The river twils themselves lend themselves to a bit of like weird, wicked... Which craft we? <laughs> Which craft we? Right on. Oh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta switch Push screens. I don't even know what's going on here. Just push button. Yeah, I got oh, that going. Just making sure I can't see it from here because you got too many objects in front of me. Yeah, all there's the bells all the, and whistles. And all the whistles. these things that make the show. The what, show. What it is today? Which? Where's the camera? Oh, it's us. We're all on this one now. I just never know which one. I just kind of bob. Randomly. Today's WMC gear is Alien Andre. Twist. Thank you. Alien. Um, today's, mine is, uh, you know, it's, yeah, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the studio shirt, Podcast MKE shirt. MKE podcast. Podcast MKE. Okay. See? Okay. He's, the big word is podcast, the MKE is the other. I see that. Is that how it's supposed to work? The bigger the word, the first it comes? I don't know. When you, it's not working for me in Portugal. <laughs> in Portuguese. I think most people see it as MKE podcast, to be honest. Yeah. I, I don't do. know, but that's not what it is. So that's cool. It's, that's cool. You can uh, correct them. Yeah, unless they're giving you money. Right. Well, it's, then they can call you whatever they want. It's the studio we're in right here. This is podcast MKE. Big arms, big arms. But we're all looking at great. Oh, now we have big arms. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, well, lots of stuff. What happened? I mean, a hell of a weekend. Week. Slash weekend. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well. Since we've last talked with you, fair right. I, I feel like we should look at the orange disc, which is related to the show that JK and I went to. Oh, by the way, I, wow, this, this, this just, you know, sometimes technology just bites. <clears throat> you know, especially <clears throat> when you do a software update, like right before you do a show. You Why don't do, you do that. that? Come on, um, stupid. It wasn't, wasn't my fault. They didn't do it on purpose. Uh, they just sh- yeah jingle the like, king well, ex- the right ex- way. Explain how we ended up at the Boris show for no money at all, which was a good call. Oh uh, yes, I uh, was able to win tickets on the uh, the fair mighty ninety one ninety one point seven WMSC. Also streaming online at WMSC.org or download the app. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well done. <coughs> And uh, I've been holding out, trying to, you know, save my luck to uh, try to win tickets for the Psychedelic Furs and Jesus Mary Chain show, which was last night, and I didn't go to it. And um, (laughs) But there was a ticket give during Buzz's uh, show, Buzz's Garage. Fine, 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 good, hard, punk. Good show. Jams. Good show. Definitely good show. What, what, was, time, what, was, time, what time is odd. the Buzz show on? Because that's when Mondays I don't... Mondays from I don't, 6 to Monday, 6 9. 9. Okay, I don't catch that one regularly. It it depends on where my head's at many times, because sometimes it is just... Yesterday it was really good. Sometimes it's or just wait, like yeah, too yesterday. much, and I'm just like, I'm really just trying to chill the hell out, and it's not allowing me to. You know, kind of... I don't know. That's a personal thing, and that's, yeah. uh, that's what you do. It was also Monday. Uh, yeah, but so this was a couple of Mondays ago, and sure as shit, I was like, yeah, okay, I got a ticket give. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, uh, let me get ready for this. And it was like Thursday, and we did have alternate plans. 
but it was uh, um, <laughs> I I ran it by the war department and went, oh yes. I'm like I'm like oh I really want to see the show. Oh go ahead try to win. Okay yeah yeah and I won. I was caller three seven and twelve. <laughs> 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 I was persistent. I think he just got the point. I'm like oh this guy wants them. Yeah. Well, and I, I did. I kind of slid in at the last moment on a kind of, the war yeah. department decided they didn't want to go to the exactly. show. Exactly. And it seemed like that was going to be the case, because even after me winning them, I played a bit of them for her, and not- Not not her thing. Not her thing. And that's fine. It's legit. And whatever. So They're heavy. They're yeah. heavy. Oh, yes. Um, but it was nice. It, I, I did a little pre- like listening before we went to the show a couple of days because I knew we were going to go and I'm like kind of knew them but didn't really know them and then I learned that they were doing this their I think was it their first, first album? album the, the yeah. 25th anniversary of their first album so I kind of centered in on that one which does have some elements of sleep and totally. some sort of stoner stuff going yeah, on like but, a drone a very good drone sludgy yeah. metal just dum- I like that. But yeah. it definitely got... And it builds itself up. Right, and they got more raucous as it went. So it was um, it, it was the first show I'd seen at the Vivarium. Same here. Same here. So, so I thought it was going to be a good test. I could have gone louder. Could have gone louder. It's a band that needs to be loud. No, it's, it's, like, it's at least it's like 105 the, at its peaks, maybe It's like the shittiest, like, <laughs> okay, wild. like at the Eagles Ballroom. Horrible, horrible acoustics. Horrible. Always will be, always. But probably always better Always has louder. and always been... One of my first shows there, Ministry. Me too. Yes. Boom. There. You fill up Sounds the air good. with it. Yep. Yes. Flaming Lips, too. They they can fill that that space up pretty well. They but it could that. help that there's a billion people there, too, though. Yes. That also works out. But I, I just I just selfishly wanted that a bit louder. And it reminded me of the Sleep 420 show that I went to at Majeska, where I was able to stand outside, and I was doing a theory test of that at the, at the Vivarium. And that's how I knew they weren't loud enough, because I went outside, like directly outside the door, to have a smoke, and I could hear them. But if somebody else was talking near me, they, they kind of drowned it. No, they out. have it. They have it kind of like double, you know, secret. Oh yeah, you know, it's a new place. Air, it air gappy, so that it's not going to affect the it's neighborhood. It's very residential. It should yeah, be. those it guys should, are it very should be. But I mean, yeah, again, definitely. selfishly, I wanted the sound bleed to come out to I the sidewalk you. and I have a smoke, I and I don't you. have to go back in. Yeah. Although they did have a somewhat of a, they had more of a stage presence than say Sleep does, where he just Matt Pike just kind of walks back and forth. And I mean, I love the music and whatever, but it, you're not really there for the visuals. Right on. But, well, that yeah, was these guys. Yeah, the double. double that was that double, show. Double drum kits. Plus, we he uh, after humming and hawing and and schmickety and schmackety. Ah, yes. That's I flo- pretty. I floated. That's yeah, pretty. I mean, it, they had it like halfway out of the. Oh, so they're selling that at the show. Yeah, it's like yeah. Point the question. It's a split. Uh, Melvin's on one side. Doing, I think, Twins of Evil. Or right. Yeah. Like so that. it's sort of a. And then a, Boris a on the other side. Oh. So a single on well, each one. But it's like. We'll put it on the Gizmatron after the show. We, would, would that set you back? 30. Oh, that's not bad. No. For a pretty. It, it pretty was obscure just, and gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous and I got, piece of vinyl. And I got tickets free. Yeah. yeah, it seems to it, make it, sense. That, 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 that <laughs> became the justification, the <laughs> rationalization. Right. So we were. We were we just got there and I'm like oh Mike got us in I'm gonna get some beers for us and stuff and so you know I go up there, a couple of cans of hams I believe they were maybe, and uh, she gives me back like, I don't know it was like twelve uh, it, it was like, out of a twenty it was like sixteen dollars back oh, <laughs> two I, I, I bucks don't know. Up no it two was bucks no it was twelve no wait it was twelve dollars back and I thought because I told her two cans. So she gives me twelve bucks back, and and then I get one can. I'm like, oh yeah, it's like eight bucks for a can, of, you know, of just Ham's beer. But I was like, yeah. oh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. We get two for eight bucks. I was Every like, so Ooh. often, yeah. Oh, but it was eight bucks a can. Yes, oh. and then I said I need another can, and then the rest of the twenty was gone. And, right. But uh, and then I couldn't go to the merch table, which um. <laughs> was the only beer I had at that show. You were being uh, a good for boy $8 because you for had a ham. That's all I'd have too. For, for some reason, I was not well, in, interested in. 
You had to get oh, on. You had to get yeah. on. The, you had to get on the road and be. We had to go to. We had to go morning. to Hayward the next day for the oh, that, for the six that would hour. Definitely have something to do with six it. Six hour drive to Hayward. Of course, stop at the Pine Cone on the way up. Don't want to lose that Wisconsin card. Man. Nope. But and we went through the Merrill out, up to Merrill through the Thoroughgood Outlet store. Didn't find anything. Huh. I mean, there was some good stuff in there. What the fuck, dude? What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. Come on in. We have wow. an extra set of headphones or? Um, yeah, we could kind of make this happen. Give me a second here. You guys, We're going to pause for a moment. We're not pausing. Listener. You guys, Ain't yeah. No oh, well, we'll lap. We'll, we'll, we'll lap. lap. <laughs> good to see you, brother. Somehow. I'm going to go do pull-ups <laughs> later. How'd you see? So the uh, he knows people. Well, <laughs> I'm people who knows people. Uh, use that friendly smile of yours and see how far I can get. You. Yeah, I'm need sorry. a red strip? Oh, thanks. I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot we need wine for this guy. <laughs> okay, that guy <sighs> came for the company. I always forget. <laughs> oh. right. If you can sneak in here, uh, yeah. cameras are active, so. We're doing uh, Wow. How exciting. Thing. Right on. Right we need on, to right have on. more of this happen. Random show ups is <laughs> fucking great. That's like the real surprise guest. It yes. really is. Oh, surprise. you know what we need? Badass pizza we need River real, West we need, 24 We need real too. surprise uh, uh, microphones for said surprise guest. You guys uh, talk amongst yourselves. You can talk oh. about uh, hey. Oktoberfest, maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. perhaps. It's, uh, that's this Saturday, right? Yes. And wait, do you know the the way we're going? You'll find out when you get there. I know. I love I that love part that. about Billy's rides. Yep. I guess it's Busby's. Busby's the meet. There's a meet and greet. Yeah. Meet, yep. meet up. And is where is that on KK? Heavy on the south part, but so remember. way south. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Then we'll go through the cool um, the Halloween. Decorations. Oh, I'm sure he'll build it. Bill loves that, yeah. man. And I love Bill for that. So I mean, I always try to kind of predict the route, but. Well, we could know. ask. Be, Don't ask. Just, not going to say it. Experience. Not going to say about Craig Andy. Yeah, right. He's not even in our neck of the woods right now. Isn't he? Think. Is he up trimming? All right, Ian, you're back in, man. Great. He should be working. A little on the fly for the new guy. Is he in? Yeah. Is, Am I working? You are yeah. working playing. and playing. All right. If you enjoy that, that what, like the if you enjoy what you're done. doing, right. it, you'll on. never work and a day in your life, you know. Okay. Sweet. Well, welcome to the radio program. Well, now video, radio, audio, video, radio <laughs> program. However, this whole thing works with <clears throat> everybody at the table and the things with the deals and the stuff. All sorts of just things going on. So this is... Ian, he's from Bike Benefits. We just had this thing out here. We were just talking. Yeah, Bike Bennies. Let's go. So on your on your Facebook profile, what's what's the what's the name you're using there? Oh, that's Ushuaia style. What's Ush, what is it? Is it does it have a well, story? Well, behind nobody it? in their right mind would start their own Facebook page, and so I didn't start my own Facebook page. Someone started it for and me. You stole it. Yeah, they Brought kind it of back. They, they uh, Took it back, man. I don't know. It, it happened in Argentina while I was in the town of Ushuaia. Oh, well. And maybe they needed, maybe at that point they couldn't have a Facebook page or something. So they were like, oh, why don't you start a Facebook page? And uh, then I kind of adopted it. Right on. And uh, yeah. Yeah, right on. Well, you've been around, uh, you've been around Milwaukee more than. Well, it's just this summer. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it's just sort of been an extended Milwaukee stay. Yeah. Yeah, it's called love. <laughs> oh, that'll happen. That'll happen. Yeah. So you found a puppy dog then? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nah, it's not a puppy dog. No. It's a beautiful young lady. Yeah, I have a wonderful girlfriend who followed me around for a couple of years. Um, and now yeah. it's time to support her. There you go. Sweet. And, uh, yeah, she has a great gardening business. She bikes out to her job. She does like a... 20 mile round trip bike adventure to get to work and then she works all day and he just set up some great pull up bars across the street from a house it's awesome i'm gonna walk over there and just grab one i just as soon as i saw it i'm like oh all oh, those are pull-ups 
As soon as I, the way it was supported, I'm like, I can totally, I'm not that heavy. I can pull myself up on that. Yeah. Awesome. So that'll be my uh, evening. I'm going to walk across the street, do a couple pull ups, turn around, walk back. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> a great routine. Right? right? I mean, who doesn't you know, want to walk across get, the street and do a set? Get, right? Yeah. It'll, it'll be like Venice Beach across the street. Yeah. Uh, it ain't gonna or Bustle like Beach. Venice Beach. <sighs> yeah. So is that like, where your domicile wait, like is? Be- directly across the street from. No, that's where the garden is. Oh, copy that. Okay. Yeah. I know someone. Got that. And, uh, you know, those little free libraries had to start somewhere. <laughs> is that what you're going to start? You're going to hang one of those off those pol- those four-by-fours? Off no, I was, I was referring more to the idea, you know? Oh. It's like, why aren't there pull-up bars in every neighborhood? Or why isn't there, like, That's a... a freaking great idea. Why right? isn't there whatever we want in all of our neighborhoods? Remind me in the spring. I'll put some in front of my yard, too. Okay, good. Yeah. We'll do more pull-up bars. <laughs> You could do, you know, you do the slide. Community pull up bars. You could open the Sli- under underneath of the porch and put some weight benches underneath the porch too. Yeah. You keep you keep haunting me about my porch. Well, you got a porch is twenty eight feet off the off and the if ground. You don't, well, there's also like three hundred houses planted there that are about and to if you get. Don't they'll, use they'll come back. They'll come back. Will. <laughs> I uh, when I was living on Bartlett, uh, a humongous colony of wasps. Uh, decided to make their home right underneath that little. Just makes the push-ups more fun. Holy crap! Oh yeah, and there, and there was like advanced. that latticing with one hole, and so like when they would arrive Shoot or depart, it. <laughs> it looked like a fucking potato, like <laughs> like total fucking machine gun flying out of just bees, wasps, which yeah. is Frightening. terrifying to me. And I mean, <laughs> just in, oh, yeah. So we're all, all right. afraid of something. Yeah, <laughs> right on. All right, Ian, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, I want to uh, just uh, touch on bicycle benefits. Plus, your hand. Plus, <laughs> plus, plus, I just uh, want to touch on your hand. Plus, you had a new thing that I just saw, uh, Car Free Week, yep. that I think it, I didn't Did know it. it was you in the beginning. I'm like, oh, this Car Free Week thing sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so, like, that's another new deal, huh? Yeah, so I guess uh, I'm trying to do all the deals within my, uh, my, uh, my, you know, I, I guess I try to do everything in my power to um, create programs and projects and events to kind of, uh, yeah, shift the culture. Because I think our, sh- our culture is a little bit off, maybe way off. Yep. The way we glorify automobile travel and cars and so uh so I think it's a mix of like, you know, putting the bicycle on a higher pedestal and kind of you know, ripping the car a little I like bit. That. So uh yeah, car free week, it's celebration of uh you know, getting people to attempt to try to go a week in uh someone else's shoes or someone else's saddle to see if they can do it, um, what the obstacles are and I was I had some great donations of chocolate bars and beer tokens and uh, granola bars, so I, I made these little car-free tokens and stashed them all around the city. Cool. Nice. At, yeah. at bus right. stops and bike racks, yeah. and so people could, you know, could find a token, and then they, there was, like, my phone number there, so they'd text me, and then I'd text them a picture of the prize, and I'd say, which prize do you want, and where do you want it delivered? Nice, nice. nice. Yeah, I mean, what a well, great idea. JK's been car-free for... At least four, four years. years. Four, four and a half-ish but years. But then even before that, pretty car non, Bear, non-plus. Jeep, so, I mean. Same with same with Tony for the most part. Yeah, well, I, mean, I mean. There are, it's I not like you won't it, drive a car, but I I, I'm the lone necessary. slacker. I don't do it as often, I but drive I, as, I'm working on it. I drive as little as possible. That's so my goal. So what I was kind of interested in with the car free week thing is that at least for this initial one, it had... It was for a specific week. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, well, just sign up for any old week and just do it during the year sometime when it works for you. Do a car-free week at your leisure. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I don't know. It seemed like let's make the commitment for, you know, maybe that week didn't work for you because you got to drive your kid I'm, 20 miles to daycare or something. Yeah. You know, right. I don't know. Absolutely. But yeah, I don't know. It, it just seemed like it's a great idea. I know I've, it's been discussed in the past at certain other times by other people, but I'm glad it's going and you got, yeah, you seem to get these websites up and then. Oh yeah. That's that, you know, when I, when I first went to Argentina, I, I was living in a hostel with this girl, Natalia, and she was, uh, you know, I had done bike advocacy in the States and I told her my big idea when I, 
He's like, when I get back to the States, I'm going to bike all around the country and start bike benefits and all these places. And they're all going to offer discounts. And then she said, I'll, I'll build the website. So she built our first, you know, bike benefits website. That was about like 15 to 18 years ago. Nice. And, uh, yeah, she really helps me make my, you you're know, still in contact with her. Oh yeah. Awesome. We talk, you know, we're good friends and we work together and it's just That's fantastic. It's just, uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's, I'm very lucky. Is she Argentinian or is she? Yes. Oh, cool. So you're still communicating with her. Uh huh. The internet's a beautiful thing. Mm hmm. She even comes out here every couple of years. Nice. That'd be interesting to meet people from a far flung space that's able to work with somebody so far away. I just think that's, wow, that's awesome. Uh-huh. That's good collaboration. I guess Argentina is far flung. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's kind of a trek, but it's not that far. Away. Kind of far. Well, you could have just rolled on through. No one would have caught it until later. <laughs> I wasn't throwing a flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. right so. on. <laughs> no. Uh, so where were you just before you got here? We were. I didn't know you were coming. This is awesome. I didn't know I was coming either. Oh, so I I came here from the uh, Amtrak station. I had a, a good friend that uh, he rode his bike from Portland, Oregon to Portland, Maine last summer. Nice. While I while I was in Portland, Maine, and then he, you know, it was a um, what are those bikes called? A bullet. Oh man, he rode oh, a sweet. bullet that yeah. far. Whoa, and uh, we weighed, we weighed his bullet when he got to Portland, Maine, and it weighed 161 pounds. Holy shit! And part of it is because he was carrying a typewriter that weighed like 15 pounds the whole way. Is it like an For Underwood you? or was it an IBM? Selector? Yeah, an Underwood. An Underwood. Yeah, I have an Underwood. Yeah, everyone has some Underwoods. I own an Underwood. <laughs> it's a great typewriter. Yeah. So every day he'd like you know he. You know, he'd rip out like 100, 120 miles a day, and then he'd post up in front of, in a McDonald's or a coffee shop and start just typing. Start hit. <laughs> yeah, That's so he awesome. definitely. So That's he. Awesome. So he. Uh, yeah, he he would write every day, and he called his book. Uh, what his book he's working on? 161, the weight of his bicycle <laughs> and wow. stuff nice. fully loaded. So anyhow, when he got to Maine, he. Uh, took a train out of there to surprise his brother on his birthday, leaving his bullet at the in the shipping container at my property in Maine. So then his where where the water tower is, where the water tower is, the moon it's gotta tower. be one of the coolest properties in the history of party by the moon tower. You know? Yeah, let's go yeah. live from the water <laughs> tower. Nice, <laughs> but he. Uh, <laughs> So he was back in Portland, Oregon, and his his uh, most recent mission was go get my bike. <laughs> so he, uh, so he, let's see, he he came out here on a, yeah, he went he went from Portland, Oregon, back to, um, yeah, to Maine. He flew out there, and then he got his got his bike, got it fixed up, went down to Boston, rode his bike from Boston to here in Milwaukee 10 days. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, wow. that's moving. Yeah. yeah that's that's like impressive. 1,300, 1,500 miles. That's a long way. Yeah, he's an that's athlete. That's a lot of miles in 10 days. He's like an athlete that just like lives like a houseless person. It's pretty impressive. That's that's hauling ass, man. Yeah. That's either a lot of hours in the saddle or you're moving fast. That's probably a little of both. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. You're right. And he didn't did he have the typewriter this time? Yes. He had the typewriter this time. That's but, hilarious. So then he spent the last two weeks hanging out hanging out with us in Milwaukee. Yeah. And uh he's like, I wanna you know, I'm gonna get on an Amtrak. And so it was like, how do I get a bicycle that's bigger than other bicycles on the Amtrak? So that's where I just came from, the Amtrak station. And the bike, the bullet got on there. They so, took it. Uh -huh. They took it. Nice. But I was there, like, if it... If well, it, it, just, like, just the Hiawatha to get to... Or, or no, to get the a... Seattle, Washington. No shit. Holy shit, they took that. Yeah. I had to take Hot a buddy's that's extra cycle that did some, cargo ooh, who was going to ride Jedi from Vancouver to Mexico, and we had a hell of a time boxing up that cargo bike to be able to get on that Amtrak, uh -huh. so that's cool. We rode it to the Amtrak and then dismantled it, packed it in bike boxes, 
And he got it out there. I'm like, I cannot believe they took that bike. Yeah, we did the roll on, but we didn't bring it into the station until it was boarding time. Oh, no, good yeah. Call. He Please. got the he got the bike ticket. Surprise! Then it was like, <laughs> then like, well, I got this. Yeah. So then you they said, said the bike is cool, dude. You did. You said it was cool. Yeah. Two wheels. That's <laughs> awesome. And I had, I think, I think I helped him get on because I had like been, I'd spent a bunch of time in that Amtrak station. Mm-hmm. And I think I. I That's kind of awesome. befriended one of the guys there. Sure. But I never, like, p- provided him with that kind of challenge. Like, no, okay. That's, uh, that's serious, man. We got a big bike, and these guys don't even like bikes. <laughs> right, right. They wow. Prob- they pro- they at at, at the Milwaukee, there? they probably don't like bikes because we, yeah, like, we ride do. through there. And All go, the time. Go, go in through the outdoor and out through the indoor. Yeah, we've done that once It's, like, definitely sort of an urban, like, assault ride through where the trains leave. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you just like, yeah, yeah and, and the ushers or the attendants there, you know. They've either, been unhappy with us yeah. more than once. Yeah. <laughs> either doing like the, uh, and most <laughs> of the time it's just like, well, I'm you're just going to turn my head. Yeah, you're already gone by the time they like, notice just turn it's my right. head. And there's just 20 of us. Head, They're like, fine. all right. Yep. Just we come in go. through the private rail car section and go out through the, you know, the second street area. Yeah, the, By the uh, way, Pritzloff Noe's area. Well, that's a quality pen. Yeah, I've had that for like 45 years. I think I... Whoa. Is that a cross? Sure. I may it's have gotten cross. that. It looks like I may have cross. gotten that when I graduated from high school as like a gift. Um, the, not only do I... Did, you get, did I get Daly's one from graduating shop? from high school, but it so did It may have been Cleo. from Daly's Pen Shop. You may be correct, sir. Ah, oh, deep pole, that. baby. Top of the hill with the cross pen up there. Cross yes. pen, top of the I, hill. I have, Daily's I have gotten shop. several refills for it over the years. Yeah, of course, but it's because it keeps working. It's a great pen. So these uh, these are white stripes? No, red, red stri- stripes. Red stripes. They're not Jack White's beer. <laughs> they're white Jack's beer. These are the last of the Shannon uh, gifting when he came up and picked up his uh, Thank Bob, you, Shannon. Bob Marley edition bike. Thank you, Shannon. Thank, Thank you, you, Shannon. Thank you. I hope you're having fun down there at work right now. because I'm pretty <laughs> Driving sure. your forklift. Oh, no. He's got another half hour before he has to start, I believe. I hope his work feels like play. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the same amount of money as I do. With you know, a hell if a lot you enjoy stress. what you're doing, a you'll truck never work in a, a day in your life. <laughs> Fuck you. I did it dad? twice at the show. <laughs> going for the hat trick. Yeah, you can bring it up again <laughs> a little later. Just Maybe. ham-handed, just <laughs> shove it in right at the last second. So I, it, Red Stripe's a Jamaican beer. Yeah. It's kind of like Jamaican hams. It's a lager. It's plain and simple. Right. It's like Jamaican lager. Hams. It's a lager. It's plain and simple. It's fine. It's good beer. I like lagers. Ah, speaking of clunker bikes and people that got new clunker bikes. Oh, someone got a clunker. Someone who has my Wait, inspiration. Let me, let me help him out. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you, you fucking fuck. Wait, right. does your bike say Did fuck you, you on it? It says fuck you, you fucking does, fuck. Yeah. Did you notice Does it really that? say that? Yeah, it yes. does. That's, oh, I can't that wait. was the selling point. <laughs> it took it took me. It wasn't today. just fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It was it fuck, just you. fuck you, you fucking fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta get this. That is why I didn't even <laughs> notice it until today when I was assembling the thing. I'm like, oh, that's what it says. I was yeah. like, did you notice that? And apparently, he did. yes, terribly. <laughs> that makes it way cooler. It's in the other room. We'll go look at it later. But that's basically what it says over the whole thing, all over the place. And who are the? Who's the the rip ripping? Rip, um, rip and nip. You're keeping that box, right? Sure. That box I think you cool. should cut out the part because he's got ET on the front of it and stuff. Just like cut that out around oh, yeah. the uh, around the. And then I maybe seen the box. Yet. And then maybe you like the school. Kind of make it so that it doesn't fail by putting some kind of like preservative on the cardboard. Oh yeah, or frame it. Like or a good, frame it. Like a good son, I actually showed my mother a picture. <laughs> my 89 year old mother. Did she hey, mom, check out my fuck you bike. <laughs> She's like, oh, Michael. Oh, oh Michael. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, may, maybe you could paint over it. You're okay. the youngest, right? I'm the only. The only. Oh, that's that, right. Really? So, Hasn't that occurred to you before? That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not, you I'm not, and I, fucking Denardo. Denardo. I'm, not, I'm not the worst of the onlys. There yeah, are, you are. There are terrible well, onlys. Well, Denardo's the worst. There are terrible Tony's onlys. Tony's an only for the most part, too. There are terrible no. onlys. Yeah, you're 15 no, years or whatever. it's full disclosure. It's seven. family I had to Whatever. tell my mother. Yeah, but seven's an important number. My brother is seven years younger than me. Let's sing a song of seven. 
How many oh, is seven, seven and, and we'll man. watch them fall. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Sand and way my kids are seven years apart. No are they? Animal. My son, my son's eighteen and, and my daughter's twenty five. Wait, let me do the math and here. The Savoir Fair. Fourteen. Savoir Fair is no everywhere. No one in your universe will ever compare. I've got an eighteen year old and a four year old, so fourteen. Wow. That's a gap. Uh, four year olds adopted. Ready for pull ups. Can you turn them back in? Trust me, wait till you see him, dude. Die. Do you see the, like, there's like the kids' bar and the big bar? <laughs> um, He can do the big bar. Oh, yeah? At four. Well, he's, he's almost frightened. as heavy as Tony already. Yeah, he's pretty close. Can to he right jump like, uh, yeah, like four like, feet? Yeah. He's like Elon? Okay. <laughs> can he, he's gonna does he have hops like Elon? <laughs> like, I haven't seen this child. I haven't Elon. seen this man child. Ooh. He's a big kid. You haven't seen him naked across the street, dude? Who? Oh, <laughs> no. I was, I was Leon, looking, keep Leon, an eye. You're looking for Leon naked Tusk? people at the wrong house. Leon well, Tusk? Know, he's not good naked, but you just wait. He will be standing at the cops stop, stopped one day because he was standing in front of the house, stark naked, like looking at people. You know, he gets home and the first thing Somebody that happens is Somebody watches that off. first Superman movie once with the little... I get wow. it. So he can do the helicopter. He's all like... What's up? Yeah, they, they literally, we were, something got stolen in the neighborhood, and this lady this lady cop's like, you know, he shouldn't be out here. We have predators. And I'm like, well, isn't that your job? I'm like, my kid is four years old, and I don't know if you've had any four-year-olds, but they really like to be naked. Hmm. So he runs around the yard, stark naked all the time. I'm like, I can't control it. He gets home from school. It's closer off. You know? But... Yeah. So they were kind of telling you how to be a dad? I guess so. Kind of telling yeah. you how to raise your kid? Guess so. Kind of telling you how to get between the lines, man? I don't know. Maybe you should, you got to you know, stay within the guardrails, yeah, brother. Yeah, maybe you should, you know. <laughs> or something like that. Maybe you should get back in a car and drive around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. With your kid. Put him to sleep in the back seat. Yeah. The he, that never worked for him either. It does Damn when it. you put the exhaust pipe in through the back window. Well, I bet. Yeah, that probably. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're fucking terrible. <laughs> Too bad you guys already have plans for this weekend. I'm riding my bike up to Green Bay to put on a bike and brew tour. Just, mm, oh, wow. I was just going to ask you what you're doing. But yeah, okay. we got uh, Biketoberfest. But what's, so, what's that about? Well, it's something that, I've, uh, that I'm doing actually in Milwaukee on November 2nd, too. But I uh, wanted to put on these rides that go to breweries that offer bicycle benefits. Bicycle benefits being like a bike rider's discount. And uh, use it also as a way to raise money for the local bicycle nonprofits that are doing the work. So right on. So I'm doing You're one. Taking the well, Oak Leaf to the inner urban to is that the route you're taking? Oh no, I'm going like kind of like a lightning streak. I'm going up to Sheboygan, and yeah. then I'm going uh, then I'm going west to Omro. 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 Sorry. Sorry, that's where you said that. Um, we call that the armpit of Wisconsin. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Who's where I'll be going. I used to live there. I'll be, I thought I'll that be was the snowy Keel. armpit up there. Okay. Thought that was Keel. Uh, Keel, I've also been told, but oh, wow, you're taking a pretty crazy. Yeah, so you're doing a. a yeah, zigzag. We, got some, we got some Wolf River, River apples to oh, pick yeah. on the way. Oh, yeah. There up. you go. You're going to love those. <laughs> yeah, those I'm are excited. good. And yeah, that, that's my stop. You're, you're, you're cutting through my stomping grounds to get up north. I see. I'm It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. So it's also a Green Bay Packers game up there. So Sorry. up there, up oh, there, oh, way hey. up there. The, pa- the pack is right. back up there. Hey, is that right? Pack is back. Pack is back. You know, Devonte Adams just ended up with his old uh, teammate Alan Lazard, and his old teammate Aaron Rodgers. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It's the New York Jets, baby. Okay. You know what's going to happen there? No. Nothing, because they're dysfunctional as a football team. It's the fucking Jets. (laughs) Tony, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Don't know about it. Hand egg, man. Hand egg. You got got all that time to ride up there to learn about football. Oh, yes. (laughs) Or not. Or not. Just enjoy your your ride instead. Enjoy your throw egg game. (laughs) Hand egg. Hand Hand egg egg game. Throw hand that game. So what's the deal with this uh, Bike Toberfest? I remember I remember mumblings about it last yeah, time. It's I was a here. it's a it's a Bill Rulo ride. Uh, Billy from uh, Rushmore Records and also oh, yeah. also DJ uh, Faux Eyes and whatnot. But the best thing about Billy's rides are a there's usually a lot of people and yeah. it's going to be beautiful out this weekend. Yeah, it's supposed to be. But he starts the ride at a place. 
Where are we going next, Bill? Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, when we get there, you'll know. So, so he there, doesn't there, tell anyone. Yeah, there's no route. You could be going across the street, but you might ride a big circuitous route to get there. Oh, nice. He's but if, awesome but if he told you we're this. going, we're going to X place, and it's right there, Which everybody is like on would the other side dive over of there. Right. This park. So it's always a, it's mm-hmm. it's like everybody wants to get if there's 200 people on a ride, everybody wants to get to the place first, so they can get. Especially if you're going to a place that makes a Mai Tai or something silly like that, that takes an hour and a half to make one drink. You want to get there more quickly, so everybody's in his pocket all the time. Or you just get a Where goddamn you pass. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Or, yeah, right? You could not be a dick and just order yeah. a beer. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Well, that's so Or a fun. glass of wine, because they're pretty easy to pour, too. I don't know. That's the ride that I like going on. I don't mm. like to know where I'm going, and I like to that's follow someone well, to get there. Yeah. Especially yeah. for Halloween, because he goes through neighborhoods that have great Halloween exhibits yeah. and things like that. Yeah, that'd be... It's a blast. It is, it's one of the best rides of the year, as far as I'm concerned. And it, it worked well for Steel is Real this year. I thought that I that think it was worked, a, It's a neat way to do it. It was ride. certainly way better than a couple of years ago when I put everybody on a Time out for pissing me off too much to not <laughs> do it the next year. I'm better pissing you off than pissing on you. Well, that's right. tis true. Tis Some, true. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, water sports. You never get your good due. Um. <laughs> right on. That's cool. A little koozie. Oh, we like I like to pee outside. Yeah, this is it's a all guy about that water he, sports. You see, it all comes back he to He travels sports. all over, mostly Iowa, but uh-huh. he happened to be at Uptowner. And I started talking to him. And because it was like 30 people there, and he was on a break. Hey, Mike, blah, blah, blah. And I started talking to him about friends in Iowa, and he knows some people I know there. I'm like, tell them that you were here and you were at this place and how great it was. And then, you know, this is one of his merch things. So, you know, it's just to, to help the tour out, you buy a koozie. I think it's great. A I lot will... like the moccasin bar koozie I got up in Hayward last week. <laughs> so the thing right there that you were fiddling with a bit, uh huh. this, so you play, you know, like, uh, shake of the day at a bar uh-huh. to try and win a drink. When you do win a drink, this is the thing, the token they give you. Instead of a wooden nickel or just get you the drink right away, this is the, the token. Button. So you can turn this in anytime up there for a drink. Oh, that's neat. I thought, well, that's a kind of a better souvenir than it is a drink. Yeah, it is. For, that's uh, way uh-huh. cooler. for the dollar I spent on the shake of the day or whatever, but... Yeah, that's that. Make thing. a keychain. <laughs> Have you ever been to one of those like uh, cafes where, like, in a you know, like a big city where they have a problem with people like taking the bathroom key with them, so they'll like hand you like a two by four to yeah. Like, yeah. get in the yeah. bathroom or a toilet yeah. seat. Yeah, dildo. it's like yeah. I really yeah. enjoy that gesture. Try to get the dildo, the dildo out the door. Yeah, <laughs> right. All you have to do is stick it in your butt, and you can get out. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, this got dark fast. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. It writes itself. <laughs> All right, then. All There's right. more of us. The momentum goes faster. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, Ian, awesome of you to show up. You want anything else you want to leave us with before we make like a banana and get the hell out of here? Any mm-hmm. any words of wisdom? Words any, of wisdom. Besides the, so you got the thing in Green Bay, and you said November second, there's one happening here. Yep. Yeah, I got. It's a Facebook event. I've been invited. I haven't. No, you well, maybe oh. I have. That no, was intentional. Yeah, right. We we figured we were not. It's yeah, a, it's be... a non-Greg event. Okay, I'm not going to be here anyway. So fuck you guys. Fucking. <laughs> we're gonna have so much Girl, fun. Girls, we're gonna have so girls. much. <laughs> and all the pictures are gonna be. I wish Greg was here. Yeah, but not. Do, but do you not? Okay. Not. I'll find it. Where are you going to be? I'll find you. Where the fuck are you going to be? <laughs> At your event. <laughs> you know. So he's lying. <laughs> God damn. It's called it's misinformation. It's called surprise guests. Disinformation. <laughs> Mis- disinformation. I'm going to diss you with my information. <laughs> I don't have my keys, so I can't jingle them. No. Oh. So what mm-hmm. else? That's about it. Yeah. That's not a Bike key. and Brew Tour on the November 2nd. I'm working on a book called The Land of Lost Bikes right now. Nice. And uh, Bike Benny's is going strong. Is the Land of Lost Bikes about people that lose bikes by theft, or is it by just... Yeah, that's kind of how it starts. It's like a rhymey book. It starts off, uh, I couldn't believe it when I walked off the last stair. My bike, which was locked, was no longer there. I rode it last night and each day before. Now it was gone. My bike was no more. So I said to myself, it was stolen by crooks who snatched up my bike for its shiny good looks. They took it apart. Surely scrapped it for metal. Probably sold off the frame, each component and pedal. Wow. 
That's how it starts. That's, that's freaking great. That's, it is awesome. I like right it. On. I'm going to have it, that. That's Dr. Susian. Yes. Well, All right, you let me know when that comes out. I will. I'm buying. Yeah, great. sounds great. I mean, you got now you have some youths to read it to. I'm or, reading or, it myself. A Hell with them. <laughs> All right, everybody, we did it again. I'm not sure how, but thanks to Ian for showing yeah. up and making the show. It, I think we know how. Way thanks better thanks than being what, up. May, way better than when it started out, and it was just uh, walk, talking to Jake and Tony walk, and I. Walk. So. Walk. Yeah. Wah, wah, well, wah, hey, wah, wah. Let well, us thanks know. for having me. Let us know next time you want to show up. We'll we'll make it a we'll little. We'll always have a spot for you. We won't, just... we won't have to do all the juxtaposing and whatnot. It'll be all more bitching. Bitching, Camaro, bitching, Camaro. Just right. the, new, the new Metallic WMSC logos. Those are nice. Oh, those are trippy. <laughs> In the game.